Hi friends, welcome to Azure Data Factory video series. This is part 10. In this video, we are going to discuss about tumbling window trigger dependency in Azure Data Factory. In part 9 of this video, we have discussed about tumbling window trigger in great detail. Please watch that video before watching this video so that you will get a good idea. We have also discussed about what triggers are and what scheduling triggers are all other details in the previous videos of Azure Data Factory video series. So please watch all of them to get a better idea. Okay. So what trigger in Azure Data Factory? Trigger is the one which actually invoke your pipeline to run, right? So let's move on to the agenda. So the agenda of this particular video is to discuss about what is tumbling window trigger dependency and how to create it and what is self dependency triggers and advantages. Okay. So let's move on. So to understand this tumbling window trigger dependency, you need to understand one simple example. Let's go to notepad. Let's assume you have a two pipelines, hourly logs pipeline, and also you have another pipeline called hourly data process pipeline. So this hourly logs pipeline, what it will do is it will take the logs from let's assume like any data like storage or somewhere. It will take the logs and it will process them for every hour and it is going to load that particular data into SQL DB. This is what the hourly logs pipeline will do. Now let's look at hourly data process pipeline. So what this pipeline has to do is it even this pipeline also has to run every one hour. But what it has to do is it has to take the logs data from SQL DB that is outcome of hourly logs pipeline. It has to take that particular data and it has to combine that data with customer data which is available in some other SQL storage or somewhere else. So it has to combine this logs data plus customer data and, and uh, on top of that it, it wants to do some transformation. So this is what this data process pipeline has to do. So let's assume this is the uh, requirement. Okay. So in this scenario if you closely observe this hourly data process pipeline is actually depending on hourly logs pipeline because this pipeline output is input for this pipeline. right? So there is a dependency between the pipelines. So these pipeline dependencies can be easily achieved using tumbling window trigger dependencies. Okay. So in tumbling window triggers, what you can do is actually you can make sure to run your trigger only if other trigger runs successfully. Okay. So that means in our case, only if this trigger runs successful then only i want to run this pipeline trigger so that i will not face any issues i will have the logs data available already in sql i can very easily go and combine it and whatever the execution i want i, I can achieve that right so these dependencies can be achieved very easily let's look at that in, in practical let's go to data factory here right now i don't have any pipelines so let's quickly create one pipeline i'm not going to add any activities and process here I am just adding a pipelines for your simplicity to understand. This is hourly logs pipeline. Okay, let's assume. Then let's create another pipeline. Let's say this is hourly data process pipeline. Okay, so we have two pipelines. So now let's go to hourly logs pipeline. So as per requirement, we want to run this pipeline every one hour to process logs, right? So Let's create a trigger. Click on add trigger, new or edit, choose trigger plus new, give a name. So this is hourly logs trigger. Okay. So I am going to create a tumbling window type because as discussed in part nine, tumbling window is the best one. So where you can be able to get the window type of splitting and also there are system variables available called window start time and window end time to access your window timings and take those timings into your execution for whatever may be the reasons for uh, modifying your queries or whatever may be. So please watch part 9 so that you will get a better idea. Okay. So let's assume I want to start this pipeline from 7th March. Okay. Uh, and I want to run this pipeline for every one hour. Okay. And I want to run this pipeline for let's say till 31st March. Okay, let's say till 31st March till 9 a.m. I want to run this. Okay. And also, okay, let's me scroll down. I want to run this from 9 a.m. 
first third from 7th march okay so the time is coming here if you scroll down here let me change the timing to 9 okay so 7th march 9 am to let me minimize this advanced 7th march 9 am to 31st march 9 am so every one hour one window is going to be created 9 am to 10 am 10 am to 11 am 11 am to 2 am and so on okay so let's click ok so i am good with this trigger so my hourly logs trigger is going to so triggers will be available here right so my hour, hourly logs trigger is going to run this hourly logs pipeline for every hour so i am good with it now data process pipeline which has to run again hourly so let's create a trigger for this add trigger new choose trigger new trigger let give me a name okay let me give like hourly data process trigger okay this is my trigger name again this is going to be tumbling window so let's assume i want to run this from 7th march till till 31st march same as before okay and let me change the timing also to 9 am let me go google and i want to run this also for every one hour okay uh, one second i think the start date time has to be changed right okay okay let me edit this okay so from sorry this is from 7th march 9 am to 31st march 9 am okay i am good but how to make sure 9 am to 10 am window of hourly logs pipeline ran successful i have to make sure that that right because only if that is success then i want to run my trigger or else i don't want to run my trigger because without knowing hourly logs pipeline ran successful or not if i directly run this let's assume hourly logs pipeline for that particular window got failed then of course my my trigger is also going to fail for this hourly data process so no point to running it without knowing whether the same window for hourly logs ran successful or not right so this dependency if you want to achieve go to advanced tab scroll down there is something called plus new right click this and select the trigger to which you want to create the dependency i want to create a dependency with hourly logs trigger so i am selecting it i am going to give the offset as zero i am not going to give any offset here okay so why because why i am going offset is zero means so that my 9 to 10 window of data process pipeline is going to directly depend on 9 to 10 window of hourly logs trigger let's assume if i give offset as minus 1 okay minus 1 hour this is my offset let's let's assume if i give like this then what will happen is 9 to 10 window of my data process pipeline is going to depend on 8 to 9 window of hourly logs trigger okay because i am giving a, a minus 1 so uh, ideally the window of this trigger that is data process trigger is 9 am so 9 minus 1 equals to 8 okay so it is going to take the 8 to 9 window as a dependent for 9 to 10 window of this particular uh, data process trigger so this might be a little confusing at this moment don't worry let me show you one picture representation for this great if you if you see here this offset value how it is actually going to imp impact is let's assume this is trigger a and this is trigger b so trigger A wants to make sure trigger B ran successful or not. So dependency is with the trigger B. So trigger A, inside the trigger A, you added trigger B as a dependent one. Okay. So now if you don't add any dependency, if you say 10 to 11 window of trigger A directly depend on 10 to 11 window of trigger B. Because offset is set to 0. You can see here offset is set to 0. And if you say here, offset is if you set offset as minus 1 hour, then what will happen is 10 to 11 window of trigger A is going to depend on 9 to 10 window of trigger B. That means if before running 10 to 11 window of trigger A, what it will do, it will go and check whether trigger B 9 to 10 window ran successful or not. If that ran successful, then only it will run. So these dependencies you can shift 
either ways by using these offsets minus values or plus values if you want if you use plus values dependency is going to push to future values for example if you if similarly if you are a plus one hour then 10 to 11 window of trigger a is going to depend on 11 to 12 trigger uh, window of trigger b something like that so mostly we will not use the plus offsets right mostly we will use minus only okay so that is how it is so hope this is giving uh, uh, the clear idea about offset if you see here there is another setting called size what is this size okay offset now we got it to make sure what time window to be dependent on what time okay then window size what is this window size again go to this picture here if you see here here size is not specified in that case and offset is specified as minus 1 that means 10 to 11 window of trigger a is going to depend on 9 to 10 window of trigger b and the offset is size is not specified this is very clear let's assume same example offset is minus one, uh, minus one hour but size is two hours then in that case what will happen is since offset is minus one so 10 to 11 window of trigger one is going to depend on 8 to 9 basically 8 to 9 of trigger b but since i said size equals to two hours so what it is going to look is 8 to 11 so two hours 8 to sorry 9 to 10 is one hour 10 to 11 is another hour so it is going to look for 9 to 11 so two hours of window it is going to look with offset of minus one for 10 to 11 so hope this is giving an idea right so this is what about this size and offset values actually going to define for you okay so uh, in my case as i discussed in this example i don't want to give any offsets or something because i am good i am di i directly want to depend on the same window okay so i am going to use the zero values or b default values so that's it once you do that you can click okay so once you publish these changes what it will do every time before running this particular pipeline for any type for any timing window it is going to check the same window here for hourly locks whether that same window ran successful or not in the hourly locks that is how this dependency will actually work in the tumbling window triggers okay and as i said in previous video also like you can use this code inside your pipeline executions to access the values of window start time and end time for everything okay so let's move on so now what is self dependency trigger okay so self dependency is nothing but it is very straightforward okay the trigger which is going to depend on it on its own okay so if you go to again this one data process pipeline open this new edit if you open this hourly data process trigger i made this trigger to be dependent on hourly trigger right if you see here if you scroll and see here i made it depend on hourly logs trigger right i can make it depend on its own hourly data process or let me keep this hourly as it is let me create another dependency and make it depend on its own so what this will make sure is uh, so okay one thing is you have to remember if you use the self dependency then you have to use this offset for sure okay you have to use this offset for sure why you have to use this offset for sure it is making sense right for example with this dependency what i am saying let's assume uh, i am running a 10 to 11 window of data process pipeline so i want to make sure 10 to 11 window of hourly logs trigger ran successful or not and also i want to make sure previous window of data process pipeline ran successful or not so previous window means minus one offset that is 9 to 10 so that is the reason i have to use minus one so with the self dependency you have to use the minus offset for sure this is the mandatory one okay and why it is mandatory it is making sense by seeing this example right and another thing what i want to tell tell to you guys is you cannot have more than two dependencies right now for this tumbling window triggers you can have only two dependencies okay that is the limitation we have maybe microsoft will work to add the more dependencies also in future but right now that is not available okay so self dependency also very helpful to make sure before running any window of any trigger whether previous window ran successful or not okay so in that case scenarios we will be mostly using this self dependency uh, tumbling window triggers okay 
so this tumbling window triggers guys this is very helpful guys okay i will recommend you to watch these two videos part 9 and part 10 these two videos at least three four times to get a detailed idea about tumb tumbling window triggers okay because it took for me also it took lot of time to understand this actually okay so please watch it and please subscribe to my channel and press bell icon to get notification whenever i add videos